What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today we are going to be messing around with Okapi. Okapi? Okapi? I'm pretty sure it sounds better as Okapi to me. You know, get a slice of that Okapi. Anyways, um, so we're going to be playing with Okapi. Super cool unit, probably one of the more unique ones that we've seen. So every time you roll, you get stats. Really, really cool. Uh, there's a couple other pets that uh, help out with it. So Marmoset, when you sell that, you get a free roll. That also triggers it. And of course, Hamster is the main one uh, where when you roll, you get a gold back, which basically means you get free rolls. So super cool. I really like to see Okapai. Um, it works very well in the early to mid game when you're rolling a lot looking for stuff. However, in the late game, it does fall off quite a bit when you are... Uh, really looking for more equipment for your pets. However, uh, if you do get something uh, a little bit like I was going on with uh, Emperor Tamarin, so I'm telling you, man, Emperor Tamarin can just make so many things that didn't work before work, and it's uh, really, really cool to see that. And then, of course, as well as Alpaca. So this is going to be a really long game. I think before... The edits that I did to it, it was around like a 15 or 16 minute game. You're you're adding when you're adding alpaca, hamster, okapi in, you, you just it things take a lot longer. You have to think about like each move when you only have so many triggers for stuff, such as alpaca, you know, only having two triggers, and then as well as hamster. Uh, the games just get longer and longer and longer. I'm telling you, if you've ever played with Hamster and Alpaca, you should definitely know um, the amount of time you have to really think to make sure that you're getting all of the experience value out of Alpaca, as well as all of the value out of Hamster. The time really starts adding up. I mean, it's not awful, but, you know, of course I got a, a bit of the game sped up, so we're not here for, you know, 17 minutes or whatever. Um, also, for some reason, I lost the audio. I don't know where it went. It just magically disappeared, like some of my videos as well. So that's super unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, just bear with me. You can hear my sexy golden voice instead of the, the game audio. Who wants to hear that anyways, you know? So uh, we've got a fairly classic start here. Um, I actually had no idea what I was doing with this game. I was really just playing. Uh, but I did add Okapai to the pack because I was like, you know, I want to get at least like a decent game, you know, have a couple of Okapais. Um, instead, we just went full ham and I decided, you know what, why not get five? Um, it's always really, really funny to see uh, a full team of five of the same pet. Uh, so, And then, of course, Tamarin, uh, Alpaca, uh, Chicken, Lioness, those units really, really help when it comes to getting a crazy team. Because uh, I was super, super glad to get an early alpaca here. There's just something about it, man. I, I don't know if they're going to do anything about it. It just seems ridiculously broken to me. Because, like, at level 1, it's fairly decent, you know? You get a lot of free chocolate. I would say it's a very good unit. At level 2, it's, like, astronomically good. It's probably one of the best... Level 2 pets, probably just one of the best pets in general at level 2. You instantly get level 2 units when you play something, uh, and that's pretty freaking insane. And then at level 3, it just drops off. Like, it's all virtually pointless to get a level 3 alpaca. If you get it to level 3, like what? You're going to get a 2 and 1 third unit? What does that even matter? You just want it to be level 2. Uh, I guess the the best way that you would do it is having a level 3 alpaca and then a level 2 alpaca, but that's a lot of alpacas. And then alpaca doesn't affect itself, so so you can't really like trigger them with each other, which is understandable because if it was, I don't think this unit would be in the game. It's it's already pretty busted in my eyes. So instead, we are going to try to get our alpaca to level 2 as best we can. Um, getting our hamster to level 2, we... Of course, getting hamster level 2 is really, really important. We want to roll as much as we can uh, to find as many alpacas, as many um, okapais as possible. So, and this game was incredibly risky. Like, the amount of risks I took in this game were just probably not needed. Uh, like, it's absolutely hilarious. But it, I mean, you know, 
when you greed, you greed. This is like the full greed deck. I, I always love going with uh, some of the customs that are just full greed. It's one of my favorite things to do. I mean, look at this, man. We're getting ties. We're, we're up. We at least have one life left to lose, but it's round 12. We have no equipment. Our team really isn't that strong, but we did finally hit the level two alpaca and it's about to go insane because boom, we get the instant level two cat. Find another alpaca. It doesn't really work, but I'll freeze it for the time being. Uh, but I love to see that tamarind. We try to get a lot of canned foods, a lot of shopped uh, or a lot of buffs to the shop because of this reason. Finding a tamarind after there's some shops or uh, some buffs to the shop. Oh my god, I keep saying that wrong. Then you can start doing stuff that you couldn't really before. So we already, you know, have the tamarind. It's a 1210. We're going to get a free 1210 in stats, which to me sounds really, really good. Um, and then, of course, with the alpaca, you know, everything just works out so much better. So you... You're just getting level twos for free. Like it's it's a pure chocolate factory. I have another video um, that I'm gonna do about alpaca, going um, a little more of a like a live look at it, and uh, it's really really cool. And you can see here, cat plus tamarind work out very well. So it's basically free. You you are immediately trading the buffs for no loss at all. So. That's why Tamarind is just so good. Everything that you put onto it. And then, boom, getting the double level 2 cat with the better milk. That is 2040 in stats immediately. So, that's pretty nutty. I don't think um, I realized just how strong those milks were. Because I was like, oh yeah, it's a milk. You know, I get plus 1, plus 2. Uh, but no, those were plus 10, plus 20 milks. Uh, I don't know if I've even gotten milks that that big before. And then you can see, of course, we're freezing the double canned food because they will triple, triple everything in the shop. So you're getting, instead of plus two, plus one, you'll be getting plus six, plus three twice because, of course, there's two canned foods. And if I can find another cat, that'll be level three and a level two cat. You know, this is making me really... Uh, think about going for 50-50 shop again with only cat and can. However, I will probably be using alpaca as well. Being able to get many level 2 cats is absolutely ridiculous. So if you have like two, or sorry, three level 2 cats, uh, you, you don't need that many canned foods anymore, brother. So we're already looking pretty good here. Turn 14, we are not that weak anymore because we finally have some big boys. I mean, look how big these Okapai are. And they only get bigger the more we roll, which is really, really cool. So you never really have to have them 50-50 because you're basically going to guarantee at least one roll in the shop. Uh, so having them at least, you know, I would say around 40-40 a piece uh, would do very well. Because uh, especially at level 2, you're getting plus 2, plus 2 in stats. So all around it's pretty good. I would have loved to buy that chicken leg, but... You know, at this point, I don't really know what I was thinking uh, because, of course, I was like, I want to get a good Okapai game. But then as we started to move along more and more, you know, it's turn eight. I've got two massive Okapai. I've still got the alpaca. I've got the hamster. I was like, I think I could probably go for five Okapai, if not at least four. So we're going to do a lot of rolling here. And I keep this hamster... And I don't really know why I kept this hamster, because I think the level 2 was good enough. I think what I thought I was going to do was keep a hamster. So I was going to buff it up with the, the big boy in the shop. I was going to keep the hamster, have a team of 4 Okapai, and then, you know, just roll as much as possible. Uh, but I decided to have other plans mm, a bit too late, I would say. So it really comes down to the wire, but overall, I'm really, really glad that I did this. And boom, you see that other tamarind, and the proper play would have been to sell the hamster instead of um, the alpaca there, because now I only get 50% stats from the tamarind, but it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. And then, you know, I misdo my math. I think that I can buy the lemon, buy, sell the cow, and then buy the okapai. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of one gold short, and it's turn nine, so we're going to win next turn. So I was like, well, I kind of wasted all of that, but let me buy the Okapai anyways. And then boom, God graces me with another one in the shop. So even if I lose here, I can get a chance to go for uh, five. And this team is way too strong. He's got a level three lionfish, so I stood basically no chance. But little did he know that's exactly what I wanted to do so I can get another shot. And Lemon actually is pretty amazing. So I'm I'm glad that I have like a little bit of diversity. Got the Lemon, got the uh, Melon, got the Pepper. All around it was really amazing. And I'm super glad that I got this run. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So like and subscribe. And you know what? Have a fantastic day.